In this video, I'll show you how to set the VREF for the DRV8825 and the A4988 stepper motor drivers. The DRV8825 and the A4988 are stepper motor drivers that are widely used in 3D printers, small hobby CNC machines, robot arms and in many other projects with stepper motors. These drivers are dirt cheap, they cost under $1 and are usually bought already assembled in small boards named step sticks. These are very useful and since they can be bought for less than a dollar, I always like to have two sets of four in my parts boxes so that I can fix my 3D printers in case they get damaged. Now you may be wondering, what is VREF and why does it need to be set right? VREF is a voltage reference that corresponds to the maximum current that will flow to your stepper motors. It is very important to set it right because excess current will overheat and eventually burn your motors and drivers. Also, if you want to get the best performance from your motors, you need to set the VREF accordingly to run them at the rated current. Let's take a brief look at A4988. These drivers are the cheapest and simplest ones you can get. They have a current limitation of 1 amp per motor coil, which means a total of 2 amps. When you run them near the maximum current, they tend to get hot, so you should use an heatsink for passive cooling. A fan blowing air for active cooling is also a good idea. To find the correct VREF value for these drivers, you have to multiply the maximum desired current by 8 and then multiply the result by the value of R-Sense. R-Sense is the current sense resistor of the driver. Since there are several different manufacturers of these modules, the value of the sensing resistor can also be different. 50, 100 and 200 milliohms are usual values. In the image you can see the location of the sensing resistors marked in green. Once you know the sensing resistor of your drivers and the maximum desired current, it's just a matter of doing the math. The DRV8825 costs a little bit more than the A4988, but you can still buy them for less than a dollar. They can handle higher currents up to 2.2 amps per coil, which is more than double of the A4988. The usage of a heatsink or a cooling fan is also recommended. To set the VREF for these modules, it's a little bit simpler. You just have to find your maximum desired current, divided by 2, and that's it. Now, let's practice with an example. In this example, we'll consider a 42 BYGHW804 stepper motor. First, let's find out the rated current for this motor. To do that, you have to open your favorite browser, go to Google and type its reference plus specifications. After clicking a few of the first links, you'll find the motor specification and see that it has a rated current of 1.2 amps. Using this value and the value of RS, we can calculate the VREF voltage for the A4988 stepper motor driver, which takes us to a value of 0.96 volts. For the DRV8825, we use the other formula and we get the value of 0.6 volts. If you want to play it safe with your drivers and motors, you can take 10% of these values as a safety margin. Now that we did the math, we can proceed to adjust the VREF by rotating the potentiometers on the PCBs of the drivers. However, we'll also need a few more tools and parts. We'll need a 3D printer or CNC control board to plug the drivers. In this case, I'll be using a RAMS 1.6, but you can use any other board. If you're using a RAMS board, you'll also need to plug it on top of an Arduino Mega. Otherwise, some of the pins of the stepper motor driver modules will be floating and the drivers will be in an unstable operation mode. You'll also need a power supply for your board. In this example, I'm using a 12 volt power supply. A multimeter for DC voltage measurement will also be needed, as well as a metal screwdriver and some crocodile clips. In the description below, I'm leaving links to all the parts used in this video. By clicking and buying from the links, you'll be helping Zero to Hero Engineering with a small commission at no extra cost to you. These commissions will help us making new videos available to you with new tutorials and projects. The first thing to do is to prepare the power supply. In this video I'm using an S18012, which is a 180W 12V power supply. 
Take two wires with different colors and connect them to the negative and positive terminals of the power supply output. As mentioned, you'll need a multimeter for DC voltage measurement. I'm using a Unity UT61E multimeter, which is a very good multimeter that you can buy for about 50 bucks. Then, take your ramps and the Arduino board and plug them together. Check the position of the positive and negative terminals on the ramps board and connect it to the power supply. The next step is to connect the negative probe of the multimeter to the negative output of the power supply using a crocodile clip and then use another one to connect the positive probe of the multimeter to the screwdriver tip. Finally, let's connect the stepper motor drivers. The red one is the A4988 and the purple is the DRV8825. In this step, you have to pay attention to the orientation of the drivers when you connect them to the ramps board. The A4988 must be placed with the potentiometer facing away from the green connectors. For the DRV8825, it's the other way around. It must be placed with the potentiometer facing the green connector. You can place the drivers in any of the five available slots as long as they're oriented correctly. Now it's time to turn on the multimeter and select the DC voltage measurement mode. Turn on the power supply and use the screwdriver to start adjusting the VREF value. If you remember, the value we calculated for the DRV8825 was 0.6 volts. However, I also said it's ok to take 10% off as a safety margin, so we'll set it for 0.54 volts. For the A4988, the calculated value was 0.96 volts. This one will not take 10% off but we'll have to be careful with the cooling. Once the values are set, we turn everything off and we're done. Easy, right? I hope you liked this video. If you did, please subscribe, click the bell not to miss any updates, give a thumbs up and please share our videos. Also, check Zero to Hero Engineering for more content. The link is on the description below. See you next time!